Hello everyone, I'm Kichiko and welcome back to Tales of Zestiria. So in the last episode, um Well we we're in we were in Marlin, we was trying to to rid of the malevolence. We hired some mercenaries to take care of the town while we went away to deal with the actual problem. Um that was in like a forested area. So we got took care of that. So now we're just having to go back to Lucas and tell him that everything is okay. We don't need his help anymore. Yep. Oh, wow. It's all bright. I'm hearing voices. A lot of voices. Let me turn the volume down on my headset. Do you have anything to say? Oh, so how you're holding up? Does it still hurt? I think that's the same. And I think I have... Hi. Someone's with a motorcycle again. Yep. I have my window open. So I can get some fresh air. I don't think we need to worry from here on out. There'll be time to mourn both our grandmothers. Both our grandmothers. But for now, we can feel relieved. The little ones are through the worst of it. Ah. Uh, nice and bright. No dark specks across the screen. We got some rumors. Anyway, well, people talking that we're overhearing. A lot of the houses had their roofs damaged in the recent downpour. We'll need to buy new boards, grass for thatching, and waterproof varnish in large quantities. What do you think about knocking down the price a bit? Since we'll be paying for it, for it all at once. But yeah, and I just got done. Well, I've been watching a lot of shows on Netflix, but the one that I'm watching now, um, like I did the The Witcher. I haven't done the newest one yet, the spinoff or whatever. But right now I'm watching The Queen's Gambit, the chess, but the girl that really likes to play chess and really good at it. Yeah. We finally got everything we need. I think we'll manage to okay now. Still, you and your father are so picky. Never met a pair of rascals so hard to please. I don't think I have- ooh, we got 2,000 gold. It looks like having the mercenaries here is good for the, for the business. Maybe we'll be able to save a bit on our expenses now. How many times do I have to tell you, muck buckets? Of course you're not going to get stronger if you just go... Oh. That's the same. Never mind. Sorry. Um... Do you have anything else for me to buy? Shabby spear. Rod of turmoil. Hmm. Ooh, that's one of that one is on sale. Yes. Black Talisman. Only for Saray. Hmm. Anything else on sale? Oh, this is new. Maybe I shouldn't uh, do that yet. Because I know I was trying to get this done. Okay. Oh. The secret to strong armor lies not just in the material it's made from, but in the way it's put together. My father, Milton, fashioned a suit of armor out of paper that would repel even arrows of steel. Hard to believe, but I believe you. Do I want to use... There. Alright. I think we already went this way. No, I'm just getting the gates re um, the gates were uh, confused. Actually, there wouldn't be another oh, another battle action. Head and guard. When defending, you are less likely to be targeted. Ooh, that's great. Take it. Um. 
So it's right in town. Oh, that's how it fuses. Ah. Hmm, okay. Completely forgot about that. But okay. Cause yeah, I'd rather her get uh earn money or find money. I'm glad you're all better, Alka. Daddy was saying how happy he was that the nice friend helped us. I don't think there's anything really here. But we already found a Norman in this area. So we should be good. But I'm still going to check the houses. Cause I think like once you find one in that area, they don't come back. I mean like as far as... You don't... Um, have to worry about constantly checking old areas. You've been so much help. Please come back again, won't you? I'll, in I'll introduce you to the rest of my squad, just like I promised. Looks like they had some good time. Here they are. Ooh, chocolate rust. Hey. Do you guys have anything new to say? The manager of the inn says there are still more than 10 funerals to hold for plague victims. You might say this is all part of the healing process, but that don't make it, it any less painful to deal with. It looks like we're going to be put through the paces again. We'll keep our eyes peeled, but you've got to pull your weight too, okay? Talk to Pick us. something up. I think. Now the grass has dried, it's easier for the carts to move. My first green sh suits, shoots are starting to spring up. Good news, huh, boys? Okay. Um, you guys don't see the surf. Gracious, how long has it been since the sun has shone like this, I wonder? The clouds and in the clouds and the plague have been swept away, and now we have bright blue skies above us. Ah Such a beautiful morning. Uh talk? Uh, you said the same thing. Mm. Yeah. I mean, like, I can always offer items, but... I don't know what items I would actually need, so... Is there anyone back there? We ended up passing a lot of work on to our town representative during the play. Starting out, the citizens should work together to get things done. With all the medicine we purchased, the town's funds are nearly dried up. Sure, it was an emergency, but what will we do now when there's roofs to repair and taxes to pay? Still looking around. But I'm pretty sure there's none. She says that she only she doesn't even have the one that finds them. Shouldn't we be gone, Mom? Grandma will, wor will worry if we're late. Never mind. Resist. Yeah, uh, guiding equipment will open skills. I can make it nice and pretty. Okay, so this one, art defense. 
Um... Maybe on one that doesn't have... Well, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Like, who usually has good art defense anyway? 109 or 71, 143, 60, 54. So it's usually the, the, it's the humans that don't have really high art defense. Mm. So maybe we should put it on something that either me or Alicia uses. Um, probably more so me than Alicia. Yeah, let's put on the thorny vest. This fix you good. If you need more, just summon me to the Lord of the Land. Well, I'm glad I go been around. So since we followed one year. Hmm. Oh well. So many dead. It brings tears from, to the eyes of this helpless old man. Let's put the pews back. Please, spare my father. Our little one is right as rain again. I can't thank you enough. Me? Oh, hi. In the next few days, patrols on Griffith Bridge and along the May Roads will be resumed. I shall now read out the names of the six who will be appointed to this task for the moment. Ensure you are at your post within the hour. For the moment, we're, we've buried the dead in the ground, but I hope we can avoid having to give them a group funeral. There are still many funerals left to be held. We must hurry for the sake of all the bereaved families. Okay. Now let's go and speak to Lucas. He probably was like, you just ran the right past me. So let's go from this side because I'm pretty sure the cuts are good. Hey there, Shepherd's Pie. As you can see, everything here is hunky dory. Thanks. I knew you could handle it. How'd it go? We managed. Good to hear it. And I guess it's time for us to pack up and ship on out. The guards are trickling back onto duty, and we've got a new job lined up already. Shall we take a break at the end for a spell? Sure. I'm sure we'll bump into one another somewhere, someday. If this has enemies on the battlefield though, rest assured I won't hold back. <laughs> uh, okay. We're back to the inn, even though we kind of just came from there? Well, I did teleport to the inn, but I also... Um, yeah, I teleported there and also slept there. Um... Hmm. Maybe I should just get the same one again. Yeah, I have to pick something. Mm, I'm not sure if whole parties. Yeah, I'll just do this one again. Let's just take it easy for today. And tomorrow, we'll be leaving Marland? Yeah, that's the idea. Why? 
What? Hello. Why? Huh? A seraph? So you are with this one. Why aren't you staying in Marland? What is your problem? Silence, brat. I'm asking the shepherd. Why are you throwing away the name you've earned for yourself from saving this town? Why throw yourself away like this? We've done all we can here. And I have more to learn elsewhere. That's all. How odd. You too? <laughs> Who are they? We have no idea. I don't idea. know. But this means there are other humans who dwell with Seraphim besides me. Though they're assassins. Well, I say the hell with them. The more important issue is where we're headed next. Thought about it? Mm, not really. I have. The Rollins Empire. Splendid idea. Hellions and ruins alike know no borders, after all. Trail. Layla and Edna's skill lecture bonus skills. We sure have had some fantastic weather lately. On that note, it's time to continue our skill lecture. If you say so. Today's lesson is about bonus skills. Aren't you ecstatic? Uh, sure. You can probably enact a couple skills without even thinking too much about it. But from the combination of basic skills you use comes... Wait for it. Bonus skills! But hullabaloo aside, the way it works is actually super simple. There are only three special rules. There's stack, a bonus that activates when you equip the same skill multiple times. Lumping them together like that will give you a little extra boost. The effectiveness will vary based on how many of the same skill you stacked, but at the end of the day, it produces only one stack bonus. So when you equip four of the same skills, the stack for the second or the third ones don't occur. Next. When you equip all five skills belonging to the same group, you have a group union. For this one, you'll need to have collected all five skills of a specific column. The bonus skill will further enhance those skills' effects. And lastly, there are elemental unions, which trigger when you place skills of the same element next to each other. But... Oops! Out of time! See you again next week! Seriously? Hmm. Save. Uh, I wish it would do it automatically. I wish I didn't create so many save points. Save, yeah. Uh, let's see. Is anything going, thing going to be in here? Okay, since we're not staying. Oh. Is this a mini? Uh huh. Strawberry waffle. Batter mixed with strawberry whipped cream grilled in a special waffle iron. Was this always here? Or did I just. I probably didn't see it because it was so small compared to the other. Um. chest. I don't think they will have anything to say. Anything new. Alicia? Uh. Hmm. What could she be thinking about? Saray, let us give our respects to Rohan and the others. Right. Good thinking. <sighs> so, to the, the cemetery then. Yep, I don't see any new ones. I really hope there's no more things here. Uh, 
Cause that's, that means that there's been like two of them already in this one town. Oh, hi, purple star. I'll be right with you. Cause I'm not, I don't really remember if I got all of them. I probably made sure that I did get all of them at some point. I was on my way to the boys' ruins when my dad caught me. First look ever. I was super stoked to find some of those sparkling stones. Oh well, stupid grown-ups. A shiny, pretty stone. It does make me curious. It might be some sort of artifact. In the bar of ruins. Man, I really hope there's no more. Well, they won't be in the same place. So, the fact that we found one uh, near the sanctuary. Because what, there's 49 more. Well, not at this point, but... 49, 50 in total. Little by little, people are coming back to worship the great tree. You can trust I will do my part as well. That's good. We can take our leave in peace. Huh? Aw, no, y'all are running out on us? You take care, Attack. I, I'm staying behind. Huh? What? After all, we need to find someone to properly give tribute to Rohan. Alicia, you don't mean... And I have to report to Lady Lake about what happened in Marland. Things with the Council have just settled down, and if you're with me, you'll just get wrapped up in it again. I would love to continue our travels, but I... Well... Thank you so much, Alicia. Same to you. For everything, Saray. Get a room, you two. What? It's not like you won't see each other again. I shall do my best to work toward a highland with no malevolence. And I'll keep chasing my dream. Safe travels. Y'all come back now, you hear? Okay, there's another star here. I heard that there's these sparkling stones laying around deep inside the boar's ruins. I don't know if they're worth anything though. It's hard to say if it'd be worth the trouble to go all that way to find them. More about those. Uh, let's see, any more dots? Mm, that's the kid. Let's go inside the sanctuary just to make sure. Well, if, if, even if it is in the Boar's Ruins... Hmm. Anyone in here with a purple star? I guess we should see if we can head to the bar, Boar's Ruins first and kind of see what we can find out. And then once I go outside, I'll equip Edna with the Norman Fowler Finder. Oh! There's another one. Irish germs, you say? I think Neath the, no, the town representative had one. He said he keeps it as a sort of lucky charm. 
So do I need to see if I can find... No. Oh. Uh-oh. I... I have a message. It's urgent. Hey, hang in there! The Empire... The Roland's Empire is attacking! What? So the war has begun. Please, pass the warning to the people of Marland. I have to get to the capital. Ah, uh, they would be the You're first injured. ones to be attacked it's too dangerous. if they cross the bo uh, There's no time to waste. border. Be careful. Don't do anything reckless. I feel better. I can make the ride. Thank you. Without falling off my horse and being trampled. We'd better go tell everyone. Hey guys. All right, you bums. Play time's over. Let's go show those fru frus in the capital what we're made of. We have some bad news. I'm going. Yeah, I couldn't live with myself if we let these folks just run out to get slaughtered. You mustn't! If the Shepherd enters the heart of battle, the camp he extends his help to will surely be victorious. So what, we just sit quietly and watch? Yep, it's up to the Earth Dwellers to figure out some sort of compromise with each other. But with the Shepherd's power, I know I could save people. You might save the people of Highland, yes. However... The people of Rolands wouldn't be so lucky as the flip side. Correct. That's the nature of war. War knows neither justice nor malice. The power of the Shepherd greatly shapes the world itself. Were you to enter the war, there's no telling how warped it could become. Alright. I do want Lucas and his group to take refuge along with the villagers. Will that be okay? Yes. Then let's talk to Lucas at once. They sounded like they were getting ready to leave any second now. Okay. Okay. Hey, Lucas? Lucas. Nah. Lucas, I'd really like you to seek refuge along with the villagers. Like hell! The battlefield is where we earn our living. Besides, we just helped rebuild your town here, no? You really want to see Roland's tear it to pieces? I'm just worried about all of you. Hmm. Please. You can rebuild buildings. Fine. You can't re rebuild We'll pull back beyond the Griffith people. River. No, well, I mean... Yeah, it's whatever. a damn shame. We're just gonna abandon this town right when it was getting its punch back? We both know what's really important. Hmm. I can tell I'm no match for this herder of sheep. Change of plans, you bums! We're taking the townsfolk to safety, up north across the Grifflet River. Get your preparations in order! Thank you. You'd better get ready yourself. The bridge still isn't fully restored just yet. We'll probably have to go ahead and set up camp by the riverbanks. You got it. Oh. There's another store. A star. Oh, that's the same one. But there's a star. Purple. Saray, don't forget about the library key. Oh, right. I need to return it to Nath. Here. Nath! Oh, Saray. I came to return this. It's from Agatha. The key to the library. Thanks, and sorry to trouble you. When I grow up, I'm gonna be like Maltran. I'm gonna be the second blue Valkyrie. Boys can't be Valkyries, dummy. If Maltran's teaching anyone, it's gonna be me. She's not gonna teach you. Your clothes aren't even blue. Your clothes aren't they blue. They will be once I finally get my mom to buy some. 
Someone's popular. It's because Lady Maltran actually comes from Marland. She only became heir to her line when all the other successors passed away. And while her sense of responsibility was second to none, she was quite a frail young girl. She has trained herself very rigorously. And now she is the Blue Valkyrie. So they're opposites. What? Nothing. He just clarified something for me. Oh, <laughs> I don't really get it, but I'm glad I could be of help to the Shepherd. I had one more thing I wanted to ask. Have you heard of Irish Gems? Iris Gems? We have one. I just enshrined it in the sanctuary as an offering for the town's restoration. Can we borrow it? There's something we're investigating. I wouldn't dream of refusing the Shepherd's request. Please, keep it as long as you like. By the time you. you release whatever position you was in, it's like you're just standing there in the same position. What do you have to say now? The Irish gem is in the sanctuary. You're welcome to it. Okay, let's speak to that. So, before we are back away, I'm going to see if we can do this side mission, basically. This was not here before, but okay. The mighty Relis army prepares to march to 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 war. The sol soldiers cheer their general. Eins. Two two. Toto. Leo, what do you think it means? The king was handing a sword over. Pretty clear that it was some formal military ceremony. And I imagine the person receiving the sword was a general. The uniform would suggest a general of the Roland's Empire. It's hard to say exactly when this took place, though. Whoever he was, he sure looked like a hero. But what does it mean? It's not like that's a particularly uncommon type of scene, historically speaking. If we could see more... We might get a better idea as to why this scene showed up. Do you think there are any more? I don't know, but let's try to find them. I mean, hidden glimpses of history? How cool is that? Okay, so we got the green iris gem. So that should be... Well, this one is it. Maybe we'll have it in the synopsis. Wait a minute, we're missing one? Hmm. Well, some of these might be in places that we weren't able to go. So I'm guessing that since we got the Irish gem, we're done with this side mission thing. Because I don't see any more stars. Or dots. Yeah, he doesn't have anything new to say. Alright, so I'm going to take that as we're done here. We can progress on. Well, it did say to prepare, but I don't... Unless I use the rest of my money, well, I only have 900. Uh, I don't think we will have enough money to do a lot of anything. Um, hmm.
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go spend more of the money. Oh, Alicia and Meltran? Saray, when you said they're opposites... Boy, are you thick. Thick, Leo. Hey, I was gonna say you meant her and Alicia, if you'd let me finish. Forget it. The moment is over. Mickly over. How did my life get to this point? It's not a bad thing for them to contrast with each other, just... They've been striving for the same goal. Even though their motivations and circumstances are different. Right. Alicia chose to carry out her duty as royalty, even though it hasn't been going as well as she'd hoped. While Maltran never wanted to be a knight, but nevertheless, she's achieved great deeds and earned the respect of the people. In each case, things haven't gone entirely as planned. Perhaps both of them feel that way. Oh, thank you, Lord of the Land. Shouldn't we tell Saray and the others about how useful the Lords of the Land are? If you keep babying them instead of letting them think for themselves, they're just going to turn into, well, babies. But then again, they do need to know things like how the affected area is predetermined, and how boons increase as you engage in more battles. And also how, if there's a skill you want, you could ask a Norman to increase the enemy drop rate. And not to mention how, as you acquire more boons, the amount of boons you can make effective increases as well. If they knew that much, it'd be plenty. I just want to make sure that, if they wind up in an area with no boons, they know to focus first on restoring the Lord of the Land's blessing to the area. Even if you don't have confidence in your battle abilities, common sense is common sense, no matter how you cut it. Who are you guys talking to? Interesting. Did you eavesdrop on our conversation? What, is that a crime? Like, he was talking out loud. Who were you talking to? Okay, so let's do this. I'm not gonna spend the rest of my money yet. We're good on our end. What say you, Shepard? Ready to head for the river? Oh. No, not yet. Can I leave the area? I mean, leave the town? Basically, I wanna see, because I still have to um, check outside. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to check outside to see. So let's see if we can leave the village or town. City. Can I leave? Yes. And switch to Norman finding. Um, I'm gonna look for myself, but it's also helpful. Okay, I won't be all the way there. That's the Boar's Ruins, which we can't really explore anymore. Oh! Hmm? Mend. So, what does Mend do? Art Attack. Okay, so I should focus on. Um, let me see. Who has the least amount of art attack right now? 231, 152, 205. So I probably should give it to Edna. For when she has to be. Okay. This fix you good. If you need more, just summon me to the Lord of the Land. Is that all for 160? I need to start building her art attack up. I think that's it for this area. Let's see. Yeah, that's it for this area. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Alright, I'm not sure if, uh... Oh, wait, but there's... Sorry. <laughs> um... Nest and butterfly. So it'll be over there. It's probably in one of those areas that we don't have access to yet. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm more concerned about getting the Normans. Is there any other thing? Nope. I am ready. But I wasn't sure if I would have free roam if I were to go ahead and progress the story. I don't see why I wouldn't, but I'd rather get it first. So that way I can just be on my merry little way. Because there's no point in doing the battles. I don't we're good on our end. Yeah, we're ready. Because I think it's just going to move us there. Hi. I am Commander General Landon of the Highland Army. Is the Shepherd with you? No. That's me. You, huh? Does your business with the Shepherd really require so many troops, General Landon? You're that sellsword Lucas of the Shrub Boys, aren't you? Just as well. You listen up, too. I bring word of Lady Alicia. On suspicion of using the Shepherd to foment discord against the state, as well as assisting the Roland's Empire with its invasion, Lady Alicia has been detained. That's nonsense. What? Alicia would never do such a thing. We've been in Marlin this whole time. It is not an arrest, Shepard. Merely an interrogation. Well, this certainly stings to high heaven. <sighs> but if the Shepard were, say, to wield his power to deliver victory to our troops, it would likely assuage any suspicions we might have. Hmm. Why you? Yeah. <sighs> Saray, let us do as he says. Well, this sucks. We probably don't have a choice. If Alicia were to die at their hands. Yes. We all know Saray would blame himself for it. And if that were to happen, even someone like Saray could become corrupted by malevolence. Hey, I'm That's better it, than right? that. If the Shepherd is corrupted by malevolence, it will guide the world to ruin. Faster hey, than even war could accomplish. The sooner we end this, the better. We can make this work. After all. You've got us with you. If I fight, do I have your guarantee Alicia will be released? If you bring us victory, then yes. We're coming too. Sorry, but it just ain't in our blood to turn tail and run. We swords have built up too much pride in too many battles for that. Very well. But I'm in charge here. You had better not forget that. So then, Shepard, I'll be waiting on the battlefield. Mm. Hey, cheer up, buddy. With the woodsman on the job, the Shepard won't even have to lift a finger. Saray, please hold All your right, head up you high. You ready for I told you, didn't I? Battle? You've got us with you. Don't get all stupid gung-ho about this war business, okay? Just do what you need to do to get this crap over with. Thank you, everyone. Hmm. So, meet with Landon on the battlefield of Glefen Basin. Okay. Hi, Rose. I forgot your name. I hope it's Rose. We just heard. That's awful. Can't you just sit out this war? They'll use you for all your worth, and when you're done, they'll still probably kill Lady Alicia. I'm going. Really? We all know that the charges against Lady Alicia are a load of hogs wallop. We're heading out to Lady Lake to petition them directly. That's right. Surely the council will not be able to ignore the voices of so many citizens. Six. So please, don't give up hope. Six citizens. Just promise you'll come back. We'll be waiting for you, gentle shepherd. Thanks, everyone. I'll be back. 
let's see, what time are we at? I can keep going until we get to the basin. Oh, hi. The reconstruction in place at the moment is still only temporary. Please watch your step carefully. Yeah, I'm not going all the way over there. Anyway. So I guess I would have had a uh, free roam eventually. Somewhere here? Yep, the way of the shepherd. Why are these things happening? And this time, we're against the humans. And it's a war which makes it even worse. Yes. We may hurt people during the process, just trying to get them to stop fighting. That may cause emotional pain for Saray, which in turn may create malevolence. How could that be? If that's true, then the chance of a shepherd not being affected by malevolence is about as small as a pinhole. That's what it means to get involved with humans. And that is the way of the shepherd. If only he could forget about Alicia like a snap of a finger. There's no way he can. I know. That's exactly why he became a shepherd, right? Yes. <sighs> I guess I need to prepare myself. <laughs> you just keep on throwing skits at us. Uh, Lila and Ed Edna's skill lecture. Elemental. Today's lesson is about bonus skills triggered by elemental unions. If a group union is vertical, you can say an elemental union is horizontal. Unlike a group union, you can activate an elemental union with as few as two skills, so long as they're placed side by side. Since there's ten groups, does that mean you can put anywhere between two and ten skills together? Yeah. Depending on the number of skills you have lined up, the effects will change. You can even duplicate the same effects if you want. So like, if you have two each of the non-elemental skills, attack and rangus equipped... You'll get two Elemental Union 2 bonus skills, reducing non-elemental damage by 20% instead of 10. Not only that, but you'll get two Stack 2 effects on top of that. But you need to be careful. If you decide to equip just one of the third non-elemental skill, Blued, the bonus skill for Elemental Union 3 will activate, but the two Elemental Union 2 effects will both disappear. So for Elemental Union bonus skills, it first checks the total length of the combo, and then calculates how many of that combo to activate? Yep. Bonus skills are beneficial, but you have to really start thinking things through if you want to optimize your strengths. It probably won't end well if you just use different equipment together blindly. So think carefully about what kind of equipment you want to use beforehand. So, could you have an item where all four slots are the same skill in a four stack? Or an item that, just by itself, triggers an Elemental Union 4 bonus? That's right. With proper item fusion and equipment coordination, you can draw out enormous power from skills, far beyond their basic effects. And there's one important announcement to be made. Next week again, huh? This is the last lesson. What? Really? Ha! <laughs> um, unfortunately though, I don't think our plan ahead that much. I kind of just prefer to swing my sword and hope for the best. No, I don't like any of you. I mean, like, I notice it, but I don't plan and be like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. Um, I kind of just go for it. Because when they talk that much, I'm just like, I don't want, I don't want to listen. Oh, you're still following me. Bird move. Meet with Landon. Cause yeah, I think this is the. Okay, let's see. Yep, and I'll get over there, see whatever cutscene happens, and keep going. I think this is yeah, this should be, cause it's right. Yeah. Oh, animated cutscene.
that must be it. Do not lose sight of what you believe to be true and good in your heart. You don't need to worry so much about me. I'll be fine. Okay. Just looking around, trying not to go across the, the barrier border here. I do believe that there is a Norman here, but we're going to save that for next time. Instead, we're going to save that here. So with that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye, everyone.